Today, now that is teaming up with an approaching cold front, and with that, we're seeing some thunderstorms develop, even some severe thunderstorms over northwestern fringes of our area at the moment. Defiance County, Paulding County, a severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 6 o'clock. These thunderstorms are moving in from eastern Indiana. With them, wind gusts to 60 and 70 miles per hour in the most uh, significant part of the storm. So, if you're watching us from Defiance or Paulding counties, you want to stay indoors away from windows on the lowest level of your house as these thunderstorms move on through, they're going to continue to drift to the east-southeast. So Putnam County, Van Wert County, within the next hour or so, the chance that some of this activity will be moving in. So we do have that severe thunderstorm watch in effect for our entire area through later this evening. We're going to continue to watch the potential of some locally strong to severe storms. The good news is after about 10 or 11 o'clock for sure, I expect our severe chances to go away entirely, perhaps even a bit before that, as this cold front drifts to the southeast. And again, drier and cooler conditions settle in late tonight and last through tomorrow. 86 was our high so far, 69 degrees our low this morning. And as we take a look at what we can see in terms of temperature, it's still very warm. 87 degrees in Delphus, 86 now in Salina. Dew points near 70 in some places. So a very high humidity environment, again, helping to fuel some of those showers and thunderstorms. Skycast tells the story well, though. 7 o'clock showers and storms across our area, but watch what happens. By 10 p.m., the vast majority of that activity drifts to the southeast, along with that front. And then late tonight, cooler and drier. A mix of clouds and sunshine during the day tomorrow. It will be more comfortable into the afternoon. Dry and cool tomorrow night. And then Saturday, things change again. Sun and clouds, a very weak disturbance, could generate a stray shower or storm. But most of Saturday at this point looks to be rain-free. Those temperatures falling back through the 70s as showers and storms move in. Then late tonight, we fall back into the lower to middle 60s. It will be cooler late tonight compared to last night's weather. Upper 70s to near 80 for highs tomorrow afternoon. So our forecast, an early shower or storm some with gusty winds for the next few hours. Again, after 9 or 10, the chances for thunderstorms go away considerably. During the day tomorrow, clouds and some limited sun, less humid, our high temperature at 79. Seven-day storm authority forecast for our Saturday sun and some clouds, a pop-up shower or storm. Same idea Sunday, but most of the time this weekend looks to be precipitation-free. It turns warmer to hot next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Highs climbing through the 80s to near 90. Overnight lows in the 60s to near 70, with still the chance for some pop-up showers and storms. Jeff.